Water is the basis of life. Where water was, villages and cities were built. Fountains in their original Moroccan style were built in public squares, markets, and mosques, as water enables purity of both the body and soul. The precious water flowed in the roads and neighborhoods of the kingdom, reviving the crops and the homes of a population thrilled to have easy access to this resource. With its blue color, water inspires calmness and safety. Water security is, however, conditional on preserving and valuing this resource. From here, the miracle of the century was a well thought out policy devised with great foresight by His Majesty the late Hassan II to provide safe to drink water, hydroelectric power production, and flood protection, as well as dam construction in the north and south of Morocco. An ambitious project that enabled the urban and rural population to benefit from a drinking water distribution network and the mobilization of water resources through completed dams, which fostered urban, industrial, and agricultural development. Thousands of hectares were irrigated with rainwater, and great efforts were made to develop irrigation to meet nutritional needs and improve living conditions in the rural world, besides contributing to the development of agricultural exports. From the tops of the mountains and within, inside and outside of the neighborhoods of the Asian cities, hundreds of water sources sprang up. An invaluable wealth used for irrigation and drinking purposes, whilst dams provide natural water. The policy of dams was carried on resolutely by His Majesty King Mohammed VI, who valued the water provided by the earth and the sky. Here is the Mohammed VI Museum of Water Civilization in Marrakesh, a journey through time encapsulating the water heritage of Morocco from the Almoravid era to the Honorable Alawites. A history full of achievements and a clear message that the relationship between people and water in Morocco is a matter of renewed genius and tradition. Extremely precise techniques and tight regulation of water were and still are present in Morocco, where the depletion of water resources is one of the major challenges facing the agricultural sector. Wastewater treatment is a project within the framework of a national plan in order to ensure the country's long term supply of water. In keeping pace with the desired economic and social development, wastewater is treated in use for irrigation of agricultural lands, green spaces, and golf courses, besides other industrial uses. Morocco has positioned itself as a pioneer in finding alternative solutions to managing water scarcity, relying on renewable energies. Our Sahara is not as barren as it used to be, its sand has been watered by the sea. Nature isn't always fair, but academic and scientific research came up with solutions to alleviate the impact of rain scarcity. The city of Dakhla is a role model for planting vegetables and fruits that were not previously permitted by the conditions of the area. From the sea, thousands of hectares of agricultural land were irrigated after the water was desalinated through the exploitation of energy. The land of my country is blessed with its ancestors, with its religious and spiritual identities, with its social and economic fabric, as well as with its political system. It is a land of tolerance and coexistence between religions. Since ascending the throne, His Majesty King Mohammed VI has been committed to enhancing Morocco's strong relationships with Africa. The sovereign has made over 50 visits to African countries, resulting in more than a thousand cooperation agreements, mainly on economic, political, security, and educational issues. Generalizing social protection and strengthening partnerships in several fields to improve the living conditions of the population are few projects among many designed to improve Morocco's position internationally and in Africa. The Hassan II Prize for Water is a well-deserved recognition of our country's long history in the use, distribution, and rationalization of water. A joint initiative between the Kingdom of Morocco and the World Water Council launched in memory of His Majesty the late Hassan II and in honor of the efforts he made to strengthen international cooperation and conserve water resources.
Between the past and the present lies a history that can be traced back and found in every corner, its foundations laid wisely. A history that combines both tradition and modernity, a country whose features are never endlessly changing thanks to the major projects being carried out. This, however, can never impact the humanity of a stable and democratic country such as Morocco, attractive for tourism and investment alike.